Hi Leo and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of February 27th to March 5th, 2017. Um, I hope that you all are doing well. Without further ado, let's begin with your reading. Monday, you have the chariot, uh, the sign of cancer, okay? Um, or you're finding out that someone has cancer, okay? That can go both ways here. It could be a motherly figure too that has been sick for a while um, and she's needing to go through uh, chemo. Um, she's needing, I'm hearing, uh, she might, this may be a situation where someone lost their breasts, okay? They could have lost their breasts and they're trying to get implants done as well, okay? Um, hmm. I'm taking two. Two pills? Yeah. Someone's taking like prescription medication and like like two pills. All right. Um, maybe for pain. Okay. Um, I'm also feeling like maybe someone is taking medication for anxiety. All right. Um, but with the chariot, I feel like uh I'm also hearing the drunk driving. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is someone that you know, but there's some type of uh, drunk driving situation with this as well. You know, the chariot is a travel card also. Chariots have to deal with, I see, I always get health situations with the chariot, and I also get like travel with the chariot, okay? So this could be like a car situation. Maybe you're hearing about a drunk driving situation, all right? Uh, I feel like it happened already, and someone is like recovering, Okay, that's how I feel with this card. Um, Tuesday. You have the higher font, the sign of Taurus, okay? Um, this uh, this is a Taurus that you're dealing with here. Or it could be a teacher, okay? Um, hmm. Wow. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay, with this higher font, um, I feel like there's someone that you know could it be someone that's close to you that is um they like uh if this was connected to Monday, it doesn't have to be, but I feel like um they this person is um your it's like you're finding out some information about this person. Okay, you're finding out some information about them that is, um, uh, it's, it's not necessarily something that you want to hear, all right? Um, but I feel like, uh, hmm, I just, I can't move from this card. Okay, I just feel like this is like a situation, uh, a family situation having to do with someone that was close to you and um you're needing you this, there's a need to go see them all right maybe they haven't been well for a while but there's a need to go uh visit them all right um i feel like uh they um they were they weren't well for a long time all right um they weren't well for a long time and i feel like uh um, they try to do they they try to do their best that they could they try to do the best that they could in terms of like what they ate like the for their health they might have been going to church a lot all right um this might have also this could be someone that you know that this person has a child all right and um the child is um might have been the person's only child because uh I feel like maybe this is someone else that you know that, that couldn't have any more children is how I also feel with this, okay? But um, there's a need to go see them, all right? And um, this could also be your teacher that went on maternity leave is how I also feel with this card, okay? She could have found that this, she could have found out she was pregnant and now she's going on maternity leave, okay? Wednesday, you have the world card, okay? Yeah, it was so hard for me to move from there. Um, the world has a lot to do with uh, a completed cycle or being able to complete a cycle, um, whether that be in work, um, even emotions, how you feel about yourself in terms of a, a completed cycle. I feel like um, I feel like in the past, 
someone you know or uh, can even be you, you know, self-esteem, um, uh, you know, emotional security, being a confidence. These are all things that tie in to uh, the world for me as well. Okay. Uh, finally, under, being able to understand yourself on a deeper level. Okay. Because I feel like with Tuesday, you're really looking at your own life. Okay. You're looking at your own health your body mind and soul okay you're doing a whole reevaluation of the kind of foods that you eat or uh what you you know what you put in your body okay so um it's good i mean in the sense that things come in our lives and they they tell us a story all right in terms of uh life has a very weird way of teaching you different lessons i feel like uh whether that's through sudden change all right whether that's through a passing whether that's through um you know uh moving away or just picking up and leaving and moving somewhere totally different and i feel like somebody you know some of you could have done that as well you could have went you could have moved into a school you could have moved away to a school um, that was in another country okay or if you're into filming you could be filming in another country that you've never been to before all right but I feel like in the past you were really worried about how was I gonna get the funds to travel to this place how was I gonna how was I gonna get the funds to go to China and do and do this modeling shoot for this model that I, that I just uh, contacted okay um, I feel like those kind of things but I feel like uh, those are a couple of examples of how I how I'm picking up the world for you. All right. Um, but this is a change that I feel like that will last for you for at least 10 years. All right. 10 years of your life um, is something that I feel like uh, if it's a person you will never forget or a situation you will never forget. OK, because um, it, it, I feel like it could be weighing heavy on your heart and mind. All right, but um, in time, you know, time heals. All right, you know that saying, you know, as time goes on, it heals. Uh, uh, almost like that song, um, holding back the years, tears, holding back the, I forgot, I have that on my computer. I can't remember the name of it. Holding back the years. Yeah, something like that. Um, but it's like uh, it's something to really remember. And I feel like, I feel like possibly in about four months or so, um, you will be remembering someone in your life that was very close to you, okay? And um, uh, they'll always be around. How I see this card is very angelic to me, so maybe their presence could have been a mother too. I feel like their presence um, uh, is heavily around you, okay? So um, it's almost like they never left. They're always there, all right? How, that's another way I'm picking up uh, this message for you. People never really leave your life. You know, th their physical presence isn't there, but um, spiritually they are always around you, okay? Um, that could also be you coming into your own spiritual self, all right? Um, hence you wanting to maybe learn more about spirituality. Maybe someone you were close to... Um, you know was going through a process of ascension and but you didn't get it in the past you couldn't really make sense of it it didn't make sense to you all right but um now i feel like you're seeing the big picture in terms of you know really understanding what people go through when it's time for them to uh you know travel above or just um uh, you know life changes okay drastic life changes make you really you know look into yourself a lot deeper okay um thursday you yeah, have the ten of pentacles uh this is about foundation on this is about financial healthy financial foundation in your household okay and um how i feel with this is that i heard uh, i'm taking her place okay somebody could have left a job and now you're you're stepping in and you're taking someone's uh, position they could have they could have got gotten offered a new position and um, now you're stepping up and you're like okay now I can finally take it it might have been a position that you were waiting you had your eyes on for a long time all right but now you're finally getting it okay um, with this I also hear that some of you are transferring schools 
okay um you're transferring schools because maybe um it's either too expensive there's a there's a program that you're taking that's too expensive for you to take right now so that's why you're needing to transfer schools you're looking for um maybe you're looking to take classes that are a little bit cheaper that you can afford right now um like i said like uh, with financial aid uh you, you know you don't want to have to pay back a ton of money so just um be careful of taking a class for example and then having to drop it out of number because you you know because either you don't have the books for it or or, or it's too hard or you can't handle it you know like those kind of situations where you need to drop the class because you can't take it anymore. So just be careful with um, timing. So I'm going to show you a, a life, a real life example here with this also. When I started college, like back in school, you know, this is a little personal life story. I feel like the time that I started college, um, I feel like uh, I shouldn't have, I, I feel like I started too soon. All right. Um, because I feel like I started too soon. Because I, I was the kind of person where, like, you know, I would drop classes and I would um, take leaves and things like that, you know. And, that you know, those kind of things could put a damper on your finances as well. So be very careful with um, when you start school. The timing. You got to look at the timing. Um, you know, timing is everything. All right. And I feel like... Uh, you could also be getting a lot of help too from family could be helping you pay for school as well okay um friday got the hermit the sign of virgo as well um this could be someone that you're interacting with okay so leo you have you got one two three four five six you got six major arcana cards here okay like this 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 is like energy that just cannot be shaken okay the virgo well the virgo <laughs> the hermit is a sign of virgo all right um mm, and i feel like uh if this is someone that you're interacting with you're trying to be a mentor to them that's probably why the higher font is there too the higher font is like a teacher okay or um you're mentoring them all right you're trying to you could be trying to get them through something that's tough for them to deal with maybe they don't understand maybe they're really young and they don't understand mm -hmm. or you're using this time to reevaluate like i said uh school to reevaluate a relationship or to think about these sudden changes in your life whether that be a relationship or a job or school but they're they're heavy in travel also these are heavy changes that are coming into your life and you're really having to sit down and think about them like um you don't know how to face some of them i feel like okay um with this i'm hearing that some of you are catching a red eye all right so if you live farther away you're traveling to your family and you're needing to catch a red eye all right um and i'm hearing texas with this okay there's a need to get a red eye flight to texas um wow to Texas from London, all right. For that, so that's for somebody. You're flying from London to Texas, <laughs> all right, um, to visit a uh, a family member there. Okay, they may not be feeling too well, um, and it's like I don't feel like you necessarily wanted. You didn't want to take a red eye because I feel like you probably had classes going on during the day, and like I feel like if you were at school, for example, right. If you were at school taking classes, you could have been in the middle of the class and you could have gotten a call out of nowhere, like, okay, or you you could have got called in to work or you get a call from a family member far away from you and you're like, you're like busting out of the class because the news could have been so shocking, you had to leave immediately. So now you're catching, you know, there's a need to catch a flight as soon as possible, okay? Um... Saturday, you have the lovers, the sign of Gemini, okay? Um, okay. Wow. <laughs> what I'm hearing with this is that you're very in love with somebody in your life right now. All right, very, very much in love with them. Um, it is the lovers, but I'm actually hearing, okay, I, I'm so in love with you. All right, uh, you could be taking, you could be an onlooker to someone. Uh, you could actually have Gemini in your, you could be a Gemini with a Leo moon, okay? Or, or you're a Leo with a Gemini in your chart, 
okay somewhere and it's like uh like i go like going back to the hermit there's uh some emotional travel all right um it, there this could be emotional travel with um with a gemini okay you're travel you're emotionally like you, like for example you could have gotten married to a gemini and you you're traveling with this person like you're just picking up and leaving with this person all right and you're starting a new life with them okay it's how i also feel and you could be taking a red eye flight you're like let's pack up our stuff and go i'm ready to go like honeymoon right away okay and it's like um what i'm also hearing with this is never look back all right never look back uh you could be telling yourself this or somebody you know is saying this um, to you or you're saying this to each other. It's how I feel the, the, the vision. Okay, I'm getting a vision of two people, all right, two people who are looking towards the sunset. The two people looking towards the sunset and they're looking at each other. So it's kind of like a, I'm feeling like a silhouette look, <laughs> all right, more like a silhouette where they're looking towards the sun and their whole the whole back of them is like black like a like, like silhouette like um all you see is the outline of their faces looking at each other okay so um this is a new beginning card for me all right so it's like coming out of some heaviness coming out of pain and suffering um from a situation earlier in the week or whether that be news about a family or a friend that was a little bit, you know, or some kind of situation that might have been a bit devastating in the beginning. But now you're coming into some kind of happiness, reunion with someone that you love. All right. And I feel like you're you're being there for them. You're consoling them. And um, you've decided that uh, you'll never leave their side. They'll never leave yours. You know, this is a conversation I feel like about trust. All right. I like. Are you going to trust me to to not um do you wrong or vice versa all right um hmm interesting message too wow i don't yeah so how i'm feeling i just heard taking the ring off all right so maybe some of you uh, uh wow okay so if some of you got married okay now this is this is how I'm hearing this now. It feels like a reverse situation now. All of a sudden, now I'm hearing taking the like. This could be somebody else's situation also. Uh, taking the ring off. Maybe you're done with the relationship. All right, that's another way I'm getting it. Um, like deciding not to follow through with it is another way I'm also getting that. Could be a wedding, a marriage that you're uh, deciding you want to cancel. But then for some of you, I feel like you went through with the marriage. And you're starting a beginning with someone uh, new or someone that you've already had a long-lasting relationship with, okay? Um, I'm also feeling too complicated. Maybe the person that you're dealing with is too complicated, all right? Um, and it's almost like they're trying, you're trying to resist change or they're trying to resist change, okay? And it's uh, very hard for them, but you're needing to be a like i said be a support system to them okay for sunday you have the nine of cups all right um i'm hearing pilates all right so uh somebody's taking pilates all right uh may possibly so that they can um maybe they want uh i'm hearing tighten up the glutes okay so maybe they want to tighten up that uh the buttocks muscle you know, um, doing some more exercising. They may, they could be doing this for their partner, um, or you're doing this for your partner. Okay, where you wanna, you might wanna like, I don't know. Somebody is probably wanting to drop, uh, you know, uh, lose pounds, or maybe they wanna fit into. If they're getting married, they wanna fit right into their wedding dress, or they just wanna, um, you know, they wanna look good for the summer. You know, things like that. Okay. All right, um, for your, what you need, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this is a destiny card, and it is also the card of good luck, okay? Um, hmm. How I feel with this, I am hearing that you're trying to take care of somebody. There's a need to take care of someone around you, 
okay and for some reason um but for you, you taking care of them is 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 hard all right this could be you take trying to take care of yourself on an emotional level and it's hard okay or you're observing this okay um it's hard to take care of someone or yourself for some reason okay but there's a need to do it you need to really um if this is someone you know like eat better okay like if somebody has diabetes in your family for example you're needing to take the necessary precautions to eat better or to exercise more like I guess maybe you're looking into Pilates now all right because maybe somebody had diabetes really bad or had um, chronic back pain really bad and that's why you're wanting to work out more often or if somebody had cancer you're cutting back on the use you know your uses of plastic or your uses of using the microwave it's not healthy to use you know microwaves are cancer causing especially if you're putting uh, styrofoam you know you're not supposed to put styrofoam in the microwave okay like things of that nature you're making life changes here okay all right, you're making extreme life changes here because you've got a lot of majors going on. So I'm feeling this is a uh, life changes on uh, in the mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical for you. Okay, for this week. All right, then Leo, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed uh, your reading. And if you would like a personal reading or if you have any likes, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Please contact me at uh, via email. Um, Facebook message, um, call, text, etc. Okay? Thank you, Leo, and be blessed and be well, be healthy. Bye.